Hello friends. So today we'll discuss the questions of chapter number 3 fiber to fabrics. You must be familiar with the following nursery rhymes Baba black sheep have you any wool and the second one Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Answer the following. Which parts of the black sheep have wool? The wool is obtained from the fine soft under hair of the sheep. Okay. Or you can simply say the wool is obtained from the hair of the sheep or the fleece of the sheep. In details, we in detailed manner we will say wool is obtained from the fine soft under hair of the sheep which is close to the skin. Okay. What is meant by the white fleece of the lamb? The white fleece means the white fur or the white hair of the lamb. The silkworm is A a caterpillar, B a larva. Choose the correct option. Option 1 A, option 2 B, option 3 both A and B, option 4 neither A nor B. The correct option is both A and B. That is silkworm is both a caterpillar and a larva. The silkworm is the larva or the caterpillar that is hatching out of the egg of the silk moths. Which of the following does not yield wool? Yak, camel, goat, woolly dog. You have learned in the lesson yak is a wool yielding animal. Camel also gives wool. Goat also gives wool. So the option is woolly dog. Woolly dog does not give wool. What is meant by the following terms? Rearing, shearing, sericulture. Rearing means raising animals and taking care of them. You take care of the animals, you give them food, you uh, take good care of it. Why? For economical purposes to get to make money out of their products like wool or by selling milk or uh, for some uh, gain from your side you are raising it then that is called as rearing okay shearing means removing the hair of the sheep along with a thin layer of the skin sericulture means the rearing of silkworms for obtaining silk or you are taking care of the silkworms so that you get silk from that. That is known as sericulture. Given below is a sequence of steps in the processing of wool. Which are the missing steps? Add them. So here shearing is given. After that a blank. Then sorting followed by three blanks. So do you remember the different steps in the processing of wool? They were the first one was shearing as given. The after shearing it was scouring then sorting after that picking off burrs then dyeing and finally rolling so do you remember what each of this step means let us uh, remember with the help of the diagram shearing is the first step which means removing the hair and the skin of the sheep after that is the scouring step in which this wool is cleaned they are cleaned to get rid of the dirt dust etc and then sorting comes in sorting the different types of wools are separated depending upon their texture they are separated after that it is picking of the burr picking of the burr means your there will be soft fluffy hair called burrs in the wool which are unwanted so you have to get rid of them you are picking them up this is known as picking of the burr then comes dyeing in the dyeing step you give the preferred color to the wool you can give various range of colors to the wool and that step is known as dyeing and finally rolling rolling means making the wool into a yarn you are straightening it and putting it neatly in the form of a yarn. Make sketches of the two stages in the life history of the silk moth which are directly related to the production of silk. So the two stages related to silk production are the caterpillar stage or the silkworm stage and the pupa stage. Pupa stage means when the uh, silk moth is covered with the cocoon. Okay. So do you remember all the stages in the life cycle of a silk moth? 
just to recollect i will just uh, re remind you with this figure this is the life cycle of a silk moth first it lays eggs on a on the mulberry leaves okay and after some days these eggs hatch and the caterpillar or the larva or the silkworm comes out okay all three are the same you can call it a silkworm or a larva or a caterpillar so that comes out and this caterpillar is really hungry it feeds on the mulberry leaves and it eats the leaves and becomes huge in size and after some time it will after some days it will stop eating and after it stops eating it uh, starts uh, going to the pupa stage where it covers itself in the cocoon okay then it develops inside the cocoon and finally it comes out as an adult silk moth out of the following which are the two terms related to silk production sericulture floriculture moriculture apiculture and silviculture so they have given hints here hint number 1 silk production involves cultivation of mulberry leaves and rearing silk worms scientific name of mulberry is morus alba okay so uh, they have given this hint so we know one of the terms among this yeah which is that term sericulture so sericulture means rearing of the silk worms so of course that is related to silk production so the other in order to find out the other option we will look at the hint they have said uh, cultivation of mulberry leaves is also related to silk production and mulberry leaves is called morus alba so can you find any name in this category that is related to this name of mulberry leaves morus alba yes it is moriculture so the two uh, terms related to silk production are sericulture and moriculture just to give you an in uh, a detailed explanation what is sericulture it is the rearing of silk worms okay so that they can produce silk and what is moriculture moriculture is the cultivation of mulberry plants so that it can be given to the silk worms next is match the following question you have to match the items in column 1 with those in column 2 the first option is scouring scouring was the step in the processing of wool scouring was cleaning the skin of the or the hair of the sheep so here the option is cleaning sheared skin so one is matched to e mulberry leaves is the food of silkworm to c yak is a wool yielding animal so three matches to b cocoon cocoon yields silk fibers you get silk fibers from the cocoon of the silk worm next is a crossword puzzle given below is a crossword puzzle based on this lesson use hints to fill in the blank spaces with letters that complete the words so first we will fill in the across questions so 1a the question is keeps warm so in 1a across you have to fill the answer what keep keeps us warm which fiber keeps us warm yes it is wool okay next is 2a its leaves are eaten by silk worms which plants leaves are eaten by silk worms mulberry mulberry leaves are eaten by silk worms so we will fill it across in 2a here is 2a we will fill mulberry here next is 3a hatches from egg of moth what hatches from the egg of moth if it, it can be silk worm or caterpillar but silk worm is uh, too short for this given columns so we will fill in with caterpillar caterpillar okay so uh, across questions are done next is downward question thorough washing what is thorough washing what is that process called it is scouring okay so in the section 1d here downward we will fill in scouring so s c o u r here we will write only scour no need of that ing part okay scour means cleaning the uh, sheep's wool as soon as it is taken from the sheep second is animal fiber which is the animal fiber in 2d you have to fill in the animal fiber downwards okay animal fiber means it can be wool or silk but here you see in 2d 
downward one letter is already there which is l so which animal fiber has l as the third letter of course it is silk so you fill in with silk okay next is the third question long thread like structure you have to fill in 3d over here downwards so what is that long thread like structure called it is fiber f i b r e so your crossword puzzle is done now let's discuss some extra questions dash wool is common in tibet and ladakh which wool is common in tibet and ladakh it is yak yak wool is common in tibet and ladakh the wool of dash is woven into pashmina shawls kashmiri goats dash and dash are wool yielding animals found in south america there are two wool yielding animals in south america they are yama and alpaca the small fluffy fibers picked from the hair while processing wool is called burrs so there's a step called picking the burrs those small fluffy fibers are called burrs the natural colors of the fleece of sheep and goat are so when you collect the hair of the sheep and goat naturally they have only three colors so which are they black brown and white all other colors you can give by dyeing the most common silk moth is the mulberry silk moth dash and dash are animal fibers wool and silk dash are caterpillars of silk moths the caterpillars or larvae of silk moths are called silk worms silk fibers are made of protein it is made up of protein the process of taking out threads from the cocoon for using as silk is called so when you take up the threads from the cocoon to be used as silk that process is known as reeling the silk why do the wool yielding animals like sheep yak etc have a thick coat of hair so this is because the hair traps a lot of air okay and the air as we all know does not conduct heat in a good way it is a poor conductor of heat because air is a poor conductor of heat the heat from the sheep's body is not going outside because of the poor conduction okay this means that the heat of the body remains there and the animal will feel warm name the two types of fibers that form the fleece of the sheep which type is used to produce wool the two types of fibers on the sheep's uh, fleece are the coarse bed hair and the fine soft under hair okay the coarse bed hair and the fine soft under hair which is close to the skin and which of this is used to produce wool this we have already discussed it is the fine soft under hair what is selective breeding selective breeding means selecting the parents so that you get a special character of this parent in the offspring or the children okay so the process of selecting the parents for getting special characters in the offspring is called selective breeding for example in order to get a sheep with only fine under hair you uh, select the parent which has only fine under hair name some wool yielding animals so apart from the sheep we have many other wool yielding animals they are sheep as we already know then there is yak which is found in tibet and ladakh it, the wool of yak is common in tibet and ladakh then you have angora goat which is found in jammu kashmir then kashmiri goat which is used to whose wool is used to make pashmina shawls okay so kashmiri goat wool is used for pashmina shawls then we have camel whose fur is also used for wool then in south america there is yama and alpaca which is used for wool name some breeds of sheep reared in india for producing wool also mention the quality of wool and the state where they are found so here we have to mention the different sheep breeds found in india so it's indicated in the in this table there are six breeds of sheep found in india they are lohi rampur busher nali bakharwal marwari and 
Patanvadi. Lohi, the wool of Lohi is a good quality wool and this type of sheep are found in Rajasthan and Punjab. Then Rampur Busher has brown fleece or brown, they give brown wool and they are found in Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh. Nali, this sheep is uh, used for carpet wool and they are found in Rajasthan, Haryana and Punjab. Bakharwal, they are used for making woolen shawls found in Jammu Kashmir. Marwari is used for coarse wool, means hard wool, they are used in Gujarat. And Patanwadi is used for hosiery. Hosiery means uh, socks like that, leg accessories like socks and they are found in Gujarat. What are the different steps involved in the processing uh, of fibers to wool? This we have already discussed. The different steps in processing fibers to wool are shearing, scouring, sorting, picking the burr, dyeing and rolling. And we have already gone through the picture. Shearing means removing the hair of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin. Scouring means washing this hair and skin in order to get rid of dirt, dust, etc. Sorting means separating the hair or the wool according to the texture. And picking the burr means picking out small fluffy hairs or burrs from this hair. Dyeing means the fibers are given the different colors. And rolling means straightening the fibers, combing it and then rolling it into a yarn. What is meant by reeling? Reeling is the process of taking out the silk threads from the cocoon of the silkworm. We know silk is obtained from the cocoon and taking the silk thread out of this cocoon that process is known as reeling the silk. It's usually done with the help of machines. What are the different stages in the life cycle of a silk moth? I have given a brief explanation before. So the different stages in the life cycle of a silk moth are first the female silk moth lays the eggs on the mulberry leaves and then when the eggs hatch larvae called caterpillars or silkworms come out and then they feed on the mulberry leaves and then they grow in size then after 25 to 30 days these caterpillars stop eating and then they become the pupa how by uh, wrapping them around in cocoon and they stay in the pupa stage for uh, some more days and there they develop and finally they come out as an adult silk moth. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Press the bell icon to get notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Thank you.